Da, you're uh, still there? Yes, Look, I'm still here. I really think you ought to go home. No, I wait for Ranjit. Yeah, well, I don't think Ranjit will be coming tonight. I wait. Is she still being out in corridor? Yeah, I'm afraid so, Ranjit. <laughs> Look, Miss Courtney is not going to be very pleased when she finds out about this. Oh, dearie me, what am I going to be doing? Well, can't you just tell her you're not going to marry her? But I am not going to be marrying Miss Courtney. <laughs> I am referring to surrender. Oh, no. If I am telling her that, she's surely going to kill me. Ah, you said you were going to kill yourself. That is correct. Yeah. Please stop. In my country, <laughs> personal commuto, Hera Kerry, it is custom for best friend to be present to chop off head. <laughs> chop off head? Hi. <laughs> I will be happy to assist her. You will do nothing? <laughs> nothing of the sort, oh. Now, now, please, everybody, just sit down. You're here to learn English. We've had enough disruption for one night. You should leave your personal problems at home. Now look at your newspapers. Juan, read out a headline. Por favor. The newspaper. Ah, si. <coughs> El newspaper. Yeah, well, read something out. Ah. Eh, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Increase in London rats. <laughs> London rats. Sí. Increase in London rats. Rates. Perdón, perdón. Anna, your turn. Western world welcomes wind of change. <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, very good. Yeah, Daniel. Prime Minister sold a pop. Good. Now that is a very good example of a figure of speech. Prime Minister sold a pup. Can you tell me what that means, Giovanni? He's buying a dog. <laughs> no, it's a figure of speech. Look, let me give you another example. Prime Minister sold a dummy. Do you know what that means? Sure. Did you understand it? Yeah. It's just the one thing I don't understand. Does he buy the dummy before or after he buy the pup? <laughs> he doesn't buy anything. Ah, the newspaper man's a bigger liar. <laughs> a figure of speech. I told you it's just a figure of speech. It doesn't mean what it says. Typical of imperial politicians who distort loose and suppress working classes. <laughs> Thank you. A figure of speech is a way of expressing an idea by way of contrast or comparison. If you're being sold a pup or sold a dummy, you're being cheated or deceived. In England, we use figures of speech quite a lot. For example, we say, as quick as lightning, as light as a feather, as clean as a whistle, as blind as a suli. As blind as a bat. Good, because bats cannot see. Max, as deaf as a... Postman. <laughs> Now, Max, post, because posts cannot hear. Neither can my postman. <laughs> Ali, as sly as a... Seek. <laughs> Fox. Ranjit, as mad as a... Muslim. <laughs> At a... Taro, as drunk as a... Newton. <laughs> yeah, well, Lord is more correct. Jamila, as white as... You. <laughs> No. Ali. As smooth as baby's buttons. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll break for tea now and continue with the uh, newspapers when we come back, all right? Please. How am I going to be getting out without being observed by the fat one? Yeah. Well, that's your problem. My problem is how to get her off the premises before Miss Courtney finds her. Look, I, I really think you ought to go home. No, I stay. Yeah. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Um, yes, well, I, I'm talking to this lady. Why is she here? Well, well, she's talking to me. Why is she sitting in the corridor? Why is she sitting in the corridor? Must you repeat everything I say? <laughs> 
I could have sworn that woman wasn't pregnant yesterday. You're safe now. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you. Thank you. What you do now? Maybe I jump out of the window. You be lucky. We're on the third floor. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Brown, I have a feeling that something very peculiar is going on. No, no, everything's perfectly all right, I can assure you. Are you going? Yes. Ah. To get a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Blani, <laughs> ah, that was sounding like my Ranjit. Where is he now? Yeah, I told you he's not here. But, uh, excuse me, dearie. Huh? Are you looking for the darky fellow with the beard and the bandage round his head? What's <laughs> yeah, He's just come behind those curtains. <laughs> <laughs> I am knowing you are there. Come out! I am noticing windows very dirty, so I'm cleaning them for you. I like very much cleaning windows. In the pitch dark. Now come in off that window ledge at once. Oh, certainly. A thousand apologies. Yo. I'm going to join my ancestors. Don't keep them waiting too long. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Ciao. I'm doing it now. Oh, so you keep saying. This is it then. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> oh. Maybe I'm having a cup of coffee before I do it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ranjit, we all know you haven't the slightest intention of killing yourself, so put your knife away and let's discuss this properly. Now, Surinder, as I understand it, you and Ranjit here were both betrothed when they were children. Most definitely. Now he's not wanting to marry me. Yeah, well, you can't get married unless you love each other. Yeah. It is his duty to be marrying me. Otherwise, I'm losing my face. I think she's lost it already. <laughs> You wouldn't be happy together. I mean, can't you just agree to release Ranjit from his promise? And what is to become of me? Well, I'm sure you'll meet somebody else. Ah. <laughs> if I think I'll meet another man, oh, i most gladly release Ranjit. You would? Most certainly. But who is having me now? Hmm. You know, Surinder, there is something Mr. Brown is not telling you. There is? Oh, yes, indeed. He has special reason for wanting you not to be marrying me. I have. <laughs> he is wanting to marry her himself. <laughs> he is wanting to be marrying me. I'm wanting to marry her. <laughs> oh, I accept. <laughs> Oh. Hello, Mr. Brown. Good evening, Gladys. Hey, when's the happy day, then? There's not going to be any happy day. It was all a complete misunderstanding. Oh, what a pity. And I thought you and Sarinda made a lovely couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with all due respect, she was a couple on her own. Good evening. Checked your homework last night. And I have a feeling that there's been some sort of chicanery going on. We not know what you mean. No, Giovanni, well, I'll tell you. Firstly, there's the fact that five of them are all in the same handwriting. 
it's a sheer coincidence. <laughs> and is it also a coincidence that you all answered question seven as follows? Question, explain what is wrong with the following sentence. My dogs is in the garden. <laughs> Answer, I do not have a garden. <laughs> Well, you will all receive extra homework tonight. And please, this time, make sure that you do it yourselves. I am apologizing again, but I am delayed by Surinder. Well, I thought she'd agreed to release you from your marriage vow. Oh, yes, she has. But her father is coming to see you about your marriage vow. Look, there's not going to be any wedding. I have broken it off. Oh, dear me. How painful. <laughs> I have written to Surinder's parents explaining that I cannot possibly marry their daughter. I've also pointed out the differences between our religious and cultural backgrounds and the fact that I have no intention of marrying anyone. Oh. <laughs> you should have got the letter this morning. Oh, yes, he did. That is why he's coming. He's hoping to be slicing you into many pieces. Pardon? He's saying you are bringing disgrace on his daughter. Don't be ridiculous. This isn't the Punjab. It's England, a civilised country. People just don't go around slicing each other up, and I shall tell him so. <laughs> where is this illegitimate offspring of a six-legged camel? Oh, blame me. I am not knowing where he is. He, he's not here. He has immigrated. Oh. Oh.